A B. What's up, man? We're doing another review. And the gang's here and they've been waiting for you. What? What? Wait a minute. Why are there so many? They're here because they want you to play some music. But I don't play any instruments. Um, they want you to play some music. Wait a minute, you broke my face mask. I can't play any more music. Okay, well, I'm sorry. You're going to have to tell them that. Are you kidding me? They'll tear me apart. I'm out of here. Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we're doing R.I.D. Robots in Disguise. About around the tail end of 1998-99 going into 2000 there was this great little line of toys that came out called R.I.D. Today we are going to cover several got quite a few here to do. They are all very very simple transformations and it shouldn't take us too long. So bear with me. This could be a biggie. Might last a little longer than my normal reviews but nowhere near as long as the Seacons. But it was epic! Anyway Let's start out the day with the big guy himself. Optimus Prime. Here's R.I.D. Optimus Prime. Yes, it's yellow. Yes, this was a Walmart exclusive. That's why it's yellow. He's a fire truck. This guy's little nozzle thing comes up. This can kind of do a 360. Well, maybe not a 360, but that's about as far over as you're going to go because this gets in the way and this gets in the way. So it's not too bad. You can angle it up, do some silliness with it like that. But not a bad toy. Detail's pretty decent, it's got some nice paneling. Nice Autobot logo. All the way to the very back. Another Autobot logo. It's got these nice little red pieces here. It's actually it's painted. It's not actually um, a separate piece. Kind of wished it could have been maybe some translucent. But oh well. Moving on to transformation. Transformation. Transformation time. It's pretty much all robot kibble underneath. Pull this down. Pull this entire thing back. And what you can do with this is you can move it to the side. Like this and then fold it down. It's just going to kind of hang back there. You can move his arms out just like so. And then forward. This one seems to be a little loose. Huh. But anyway, there is Optimus Prime. R.I.D. Prime head is on a swivel. Obviously, you have no real articulation here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Split the legs. But you don't really have any articulation here unless you call this articulation. I call this the. I mean, come on, you can do it doesn't have any forward articulation. It's quite bulky. I wouldn't consider him a brick, but I mean, 
these are robots in disguise smaller GoBot legend size for you people out there and or Hot Wheel size they are Hot Wheel size every one of these are but there's Prime in his glory when you're setting him down you can kind of move this thing back a little bit but it just I mean <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh because they could have really done something else with this kibble it's kind of bad but there he is let's move on to yet another truck this is Ultra Magnus exclusive colors the original ones gray instead of black I believe this was a Walmart exclusive if I'm not mistaken could have been Target because at the time I was shopping in both places Autobot logo ginormous Autobot logo on the front it's very reminiscent of the larger version of him it's got a lot of detail it's obviously supposed to be a car carrier so you can do this if you want to I tend to not but wide load anyway obviously it looks like robot kibble underneath visible head syndrome but what can you do flip this back fills his head and flip these two portions here on the back up there's his wings pull this down separate the legs and pull out his arms just like all the rest of the GoBots and there we go you can dance you can dance if you want to you can leave your friends behind why not heads on a, on a swivel just like Prime's this is fairly loose but what do you expect this thing's about 12 years old but there you go Ultra Magnus not too bad pretty decent little robot I actually like this guy his backpack's not quite as bad unless it does that but it is what it is these spy changers are yeah they're pretty much spy changers or what they are but I like the idea that they're like the size of an Autobot or sorry not Autobot I like this Autobot because it's the size of a Hot Wheel it don't take up a lot of room so Ultra Magnus next to his buddy now we're going to move on to something a little more obscure I would say RID tow line. Yes, I know. There's no front piece. They don't have the front piece and they don't have the pistol. But pretty much got him for free. What do you expect? What you do is you fold these two sections out. This hook on the back. I'm going to bring it up. Slightly unpeg it. Then you're going to want to hang on to it at the feet. Raise the hook up. Auto morphing action. And there we go. Move these all the way to the front. And then you can take his arms and spin them around. So that way you've got some articulation. there you go he's got the whole I'm um, hooked together leg syndrome oh my bad this one doesn't now if you get into the um, if you get into 
the Machine Wars. There's a Machine Wars version of this guy. He's a Decepticon. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to remember his name. I can't remember it offhand. Look up Thew. He did a review on him. But anyway, there you go. If I can get the focus. It's like he's got a ball cap on, which is kind of neat. It's like a trucker. There we go. He does have some wicked light piping, by the way. I mean, it's it's pretty intense. He's like that wicked robot that has the light piping that goes wow But anyway, really, really cool. Pretty awesome. Can't go wrong there. Oh, and dynamic pose for you guys. I have gotten this guy in some silly poses before. Like crazy poses. I mean, it's pretty impressive what you can do with this guy if you get him balanced right. This like 20 minutes ago. There we go. It's pretty well balanced. Put his legs together here since he's going to be standing here this entire time. As we move on to. Well, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Stealth Force Crosswise. It's crosswise. Translucent. That's why he's stealth force. It's like a kind of like a Ferrari. Got really, really nice rolling wheels. This guy will fit in with your Hot Wheels collections, guys. Nice Autobot emblem up here. Check out the uh, detail of the little engine here in the back. Love the X on the front. It's kind of nice. I do like the idea that they made this like a different color other than this. Kind of breaks it up a little bit. Let's get a look at the back. You can see kind of the molded detail. Interesting fun fact. This is the same mold they used for Bumblebee back during Generation 2. During their Spy Changers. Check that one out. It's pretty expensive though because he's gold plastic so he's brittle. It's fairly rare, rare to find. Anyway, his transformation is very simple. Thus, pulling up, flipping this forward, and pulling out of the arms. Every one of these spy changers has the same transformation. But they are all different. So get a good look at him. If I can get it to focus, okay. Obviously, since he's like nothing but translucent, you can tell you can get some wicked light piping going on here. Because he's made of light piping and he's awesome. Moving on to yet another translucent kibble. Stealth Force Wars. No, weird name. He is R.I.D. You can kind of tell it's it's probably going to be hard to pick up on the camera, but he is totally translucent. I can prove it. I mean, check that out. It's purple, by the way, guys. It's a purple translucent. But you got to love whenever you can just stick this thing on the end of a flashlight and just... It's like... 
love how the uh, that yellow light piping comes out like that. It's sick. It's really sick. But anyway, he has the same type of transformation. He's like a uh, Daytona racer. I'd say he's more of a. Uh, what were the most common Daytona? I can't remember. Can't remember offhand. Anyway, simple transformation. Pull this up. Flip this down. Then pull these out. Now, with these being the type of plastic they are, see how loose that is? That will happen over time, guys. So. If you do look into getting these, be sure whenever you get them to be very, very delicate with them, because they can break. He could have dealt with some um, paint apps, because it's really hard to see his head detail on this camera. Focus on this, not me. This, this. Really hard to see, but it's the same head sculpt as his. Um, I actually have wars over here that's not like this. I'm going to show you him next. And you'll see the difference. But I really dig this guy. He's pretty cool. I like the idea of having a translucent ones. Pretty nice. So, speaking of which, let's go ahead and move on to wars. Got this nice paint job going on here. He is same car, identical. Just, he's not translucent. It says wars on the side. He's got this Japanese emblem here. I don't know, maybe that says wars, possibly because drift. For those who has drift classics. Yeah. Classics Drift says Drift, the emblem on the side of him. It's kind of conceited, but this guy is too. Look, he has his name on his side. Kind of blows away the whole Robots in Disguise thing, doesn't it? Maybe. Anyhow, going to pop this like this. Quick. This forward, and we're going to move out the arms just like so, and then let you get a look at the mug. If I can get it to focus, camera's not agreeing with me. Tonight. I apologize. There we go. I can see it, that head sculpt. It's pretty decent. I like him. He's neat. Moving on to Hot Shot. Here's Hot Shot. He's a Porsche. I don't know if this is common. But it seems like this entire section here is really, really like slanted more than what it should be. Looks like it's trying to separate, but it's not. I've tried to push up as hard as I can on this, and it just won't. Uh, yeah. The good thing about these is there's really zero robot kittle, which is nice. It's got a fairly decent kind of paint job. It's not bad for as old as he is, it's not like missing any major things. Autobot symbol. It's got this craziness going on here, but you can kind of forgive it and say, oh, maybe those right there deploy parachutes because he goes pretty quick. Why not? Use your imagination, people. I had to. Back in the 80s. Come on. Anyhow. 
Got nice rolling wheels. Transformation. Pop. These are all identical, guys. But you know what? Technically, they're not. Because they're all different. Let's get a look at it. Let's get a look at the head sculpt. That was something in my closet that probably fell. That or it's the boogeyman coming to get me. Anyway. And moving on to side swipe. Here's side swipe. He's a Camaro. A 90s Camaro, you can tell. By anybody that owns one of these. He's got like parachute looking things in the back. It's just there to kind of help balance it. That's why they put him there. So that way he wouldn't like fall over. But I think it's really weird that they put these strange like indentation things here in the windows. But I forgive it. Pretty nice looking little hood scoop thing. Moving this out. Moving this down. And then we're going to pull these out again. Same transformation on every one of these. So don't think that I'm skipping anything here. There he is. It's kind of cool. He's got like these goggles. Really, really interesting head sculpt. Oh yeah, another fun fact I did not mention about Hot Shot. This is a repaint of Megatron from Generation 2. In the Spy Changer line. It was a silver Porsche. Fun fact there for you. Moving on to Ron. I know some people want to call him Exelon, but this is actually Braun. He has the same transformation as the larger counterpart. It's kind of interesting. It's got a really interesting transformation, but it's got really, really decent detail. It's almost like a lowrider. So. But what you do, same thing. Pull this out. This guy actually has opening doors. Which actually, if I put this in the air like this, it's kind of neat. Looks like an actual car with opening doors. Why not? It's kind of neat for something like this. But he can also do the I got in a car crash thing too. Ah! <laughs> but when you get that, you get visible head syndrome. Anyway, you move this down, kick this over to the side, fold this portion all the way up. I'm going to leave this flap up. You can see his arms in there. His other arm folds down and out. And there you go. By the way, you're going to get zero head articulation on any of these. So. I think it's kind of cute how they tried to dummy in wheels down here. But it's like, come on, they could have just like not done that. They tried to make it a little different. I can get his self here to focus. There we go. It's pretty nice. But there's Braun. Moving on to yet another classic that everybody loves. Mirage. Here's Mirage. F1 racer, just like everybody loves him. Got a nice number one on here. Nice Autobot emblem. TM Transformers. Trademark Transformers on the back. Because he's proud to be a Transformer. It's got the same 
identical transformation as the rest of them. Braun there is about the only ones like really really odd. But pull this down, flip this up, and forward. And you'll just pull his little arms out, which are kind of finicky on him because they're literally part of the panel. It's really weird. But there we go. To get a good look at the head sculpt, it's got a nice head sculpt. I like it. Oh, there he is. There's Mirage. And moving on, this goes to Trailbreaker. Some of these actually came with guns. I only happen to have only two of the guns. And here's Trailbreaker. This guy had a repaint as um, back in the day during Spy Changers and G2. He was also known as Ironhide. He was silver. I don't remember the blue one. There's also a blue one in that line. I can't remember the name for the life of me at the moment. Anyway, same transformation as everything else. This guy is a uh, looks like a board, maybe like a like a it's one of those step side F-150s or something like that. Almost like a custom. I do dig the paint job on him though. He's got a really, really nice paint job. I mean, they even went as far as to paint the back window on this and the bed of the truck, which, you know, they didn't have to do all this crazy detail on these, but they really did. So I kind of, I give it to them on that. Especially since this thing fits in with my Hot Wheels. So it's like, have a Hot Wheels city and then it could be like under attack by robots that look like they're actually in scale. There you go. There's some imagination for you. But anyway. Same transformation. Pull the legs down. Pop this thing forward. And move these forward like this. Right now. And there you go. Straw breaker. I do like the idea that this thing is real good homage to Trailbreaker because the paint job and everything screams it. The gun itself will fit in his hand. As you can see, it's got nice little hollow bits for hands. And the gun will just go in just like so. Just like that. This gun will actually fit in the hands of the other spy changers as well. But I'm not going to go through chasing down guns for every one of them. It's kind of pointless because these guns get lost very easily. It is neat, though, that this gun will actually fit crossways in the bed of his truck and stay there. So if you ever get this figure, that's how you store his gun. Moving on to Red Alert. He is like a little Chevy Malibu. He's got the nice homage to Generation 1 with the stripes and the FD and Fire Chief and all that. Same thing on the hood. It's got a fair amount of detail. It's kind of neat how you can barely see his gun. Because this gun plugs in the bottom. Just like so. That is the uh, that is where they came up with the idea for um, the generations version of this. Side swipe and um, sun streaker. Anyway, same transformation. Pull it out. Lift this down. Then grab these and pull these out. Gun, hole, and it's kind of finicky, but there we go. 
Let you get a good look at the mug on this one. Do 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 do. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. And it doesn't want to pay attention to me. Cause it's being silly. Da, 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 da. It's really late, and I'm trying to do this video, and this thing is being a pain. Do 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 do. do. Sorry. But there you go. It's got an awesome head sculpt. But anyhow, I apologize for it being a slightly lengthy video, but I wanted to do all my spy changers and three of the larger RIDs that I have. I will end up doing another RID here pretty soon, but it's a combo combiner. So Actually, I got two combiners to do. So I will end up showing you guys those pretty soon. Thanks for tuning in. Sub subscribe, like, share, if you feel like it. But this has been Plasticon. This has been my kibble. This is me signing off. Peace, y'all.